the irrigation system uh, was put on yesterday. So this now is part five of Raymond's garden. One very important thing for a lawn and a garden is water. It's never too early to begin watering your grass or your uh, lawn area, your flowers, your flower beds. So start off with a good watering. This particular section I've watered for approximately 15 minutes. It's already gone by. And the next section is the front grass strip, which was watered about 15 minutes to let the nutrients come out. And the important thing of watering is that the grass get a good start early in the spring. The root system needs uh, water. Uh, irrigation is another term for it. And it's very important that you water your lawn. And it's never too early to give a start. This here is zone three, and I'll give you an example of how this zone is watered. Here is the sprinkler head and the water reaches. Incidentally, this particular system, if you're in the Milton, Quincy, Boston area, was installed by Birardi Irrigation, long sprinkler specialists. This is the front, and then later on we'll show you what the side and the back looks like. I'm going to repeat what I said earlier about the particular fertilizer that I used. On the first application, I used the Turf Builder with Holtz Crabgrass Preventer. This is applied early in the spring. I applied this on March 30th anticipating some precipitation within two or three days. As you recall, we got snow on April 1st, and that was my slow release uh, precipitation. Then, in six to eight weeks, I will be applying another Scotts product called Turf Builder Plus 2. It has weed control. That will go in around the end of May, 1st of June, and that will be followed around August 1st, July 31st, an additional application of Scott's Turf Builder that is called, it's a, like a grub control. And then the fourth uh, Scott's product I will apply, oh, two months after that, about, uh, let's see, uh, September 30th in that vicinity. Now I mentioned several tools that I use in the garden in preparing in the spring. Believe it or not, I use a snow shovel to help me and also this large red rake which I use to do surface raking. Not too deep into the grass, just on the surface to pick off the dead leaves and other debris, branches and so forth. And then I put them into a pile and I use the shovel to assist me to pick up the pile and to put it into a yard waste receptacle. Uh, you know, I have CHF, it's hard for me to bend over. It's an easy way to do it. I thought I'd pass it along to you. Healthy people, you'll save bending your back unless you need the exercise. Then another tool that I use is this flexible rake. It's a, it's a uh, steel rake. There's an adjustment here in the middle where you can adjust the width of the rake. You can go uh, make the rake wider or narrower depending upon what you're working on. And it's a very, very good tool. I use it to mix up my, my mulch pile and turn the, turn the mulch pile over. Now the other little tool that I have, I mentioned this uh, yesterday, is this weed rake. It's a long handle. Okay, and it's a, I call it a weed rake because what you do is you go below the surface and cut the roots or cut off the roots or bring up the roots of weeds, grass that's tr trying to get started and it's an excellent little tool to use. See, uh, the water is almost done up front. I'll show you another angle of the view of how the watering is proceeding. Here is another head that which is a center section of the garden. Here's some ground cover that's going to really get a nice juice of water. And here's the other head over here by the stairs. And uh, here is the uh, installer of the 
uh, irrigation system, Berati Irrigation Lawn Sprinklers. And uh, they give you free estimates. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'm not going to get a piece of the action. But I thought I'd pass on a good thing. It's good to share and let people know what this is all about. And now, I think we're almost done with this section. And when we get finished, oh, here's, uh, here's Paul, my mail carrier. So now the zone four got activated. You can see the uh, sprinkler head on the corner here. And uh, this will do this little hill, which doesn't get much sun uh, and it doesn't get much watering, but it still needs. So there's gonna be about 20 minutes of watering here for the first application to get things going. And then here is at the bottom, you can see the sprinkler head. And then a newly installed one, way, way in the corner. Uh, it's sprinkling the uh, flower bed area. And now you can see a view from up above where the sprinkler head in the side here is uh, watering uh, this flower bed. And uh, then there's the sprink, sprink, sprinkler head out front on the lawn base, right about, let's see, right there, okay. And now we're in the back and here is a uh, sprinkler head hard at work, watering the lawn, and uh, you can see how far it reached, it's a little sunny on this side, and uh, let's see, there's another sprinkler head uh, yonder, doing his job, and uh, this one here hit the flower bed on the right hand side, and there's one way over in the corner uh, doing its job. So we'll do a panorama of the backyard and you can see the edges of the flower beds and all the way over here and way over in the corner there's another sprinkler head hard at work. It's important to get plenty of water to begin the season so the roots are well watered and adapted to feed your lawn. The water is the biggest ingredient in feeding your lawn. Of course, the fertilization and the weed killer also helps. And here is another panoramic view from a little higher up. And you can see the corner of the garden that we will be watering very soon with the drip line. And here we go. Here's the other head. Well, the watering is now complete and uh, the uh, drip line, I don't know if I mentioned it, uh, provided one hour's worth of dripping. So uh, that is very efficient, about 90% efficiency because it lays the water down exactly to uh, where you want. Water in my area is quite expensive, especially if it's coupled with uh, wastewater. By having a separate water meter, a separate zone, it costs less to uh, have the water come in. So with this drip line, it's like I said, 90% efficient. With the sprinkler system, it's running around 75 to 85% efficient. And efficiency, I mean, better than watering by hand. So this concludes this uh, particular segment of Raymond's Garden. Have a nice day. The irrigation system was provided by Berardi Irrigation. Visit them on their website, berardiirrigation.com. And they have a catchy phrase, have you had a drink lately? Your lawn should. Berardi Irrigation Systems.